around. See, I'm into real estate, and whenever I see an interesting tract of land, I like to sketch out how I'd develop it. Just to, you know, keep the juices flowing. It doesn't mean anything. I was just doodling. Great, so it's okay if I keep this. Uh, sure. Go right ahead. Kyler says sometimes she hears Matt's voice, only it's very faint and muffled. Do you ever hear him? <laughs> no. Man, Kyler must be losing it or something, because I'm telling you, Matt is not here. The caretaker seems to think you're the one who should be getting married here, not Matt. Yeah, well, in case you haven't noticed, that guy's got several screws loose. I just happened to mention that three out of my four grandparents were born in Ireland, and now whenever he sees me, he gets this weird look in his eye. But you don't think he had anything to do with Matt's disappearance? No. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. He and Matt did not get along. They were always at each other's throats, arguing about the stupidest things. Even those leprechaun gnome things out in the garden? Danal had a fit one day when he saw Matt messing with them. And when Matt announced he was going to stay in the haunted nursery, I thought the guy was going to burst a blood vessel he turned so red. But Matt disappeared on his own, not because of anything Danal did. I mean, the old coot's not that crazy. Is he? From the looks of that picture I found over there, it looks like you and Kyler used to be a lot more than friends. Yeah, we dated for a while, until it finally became obvious that we were better as a couple of friends than as a couple. No biggie. That discussion you had with Matt? Come on, really. What was it about? It was about Kyler. I was asking Matt whether he had truly thought through what being married to her was going to be like. The more questions I asked, the more nerves I struck, and the more uncomfortable and angry he became, until finally... He gave you that shiner. He stomped upstairs to the nursery. Next day, he disappeared. Obviously, the things I said got to him. So if I seem a little guilty to you, it's because I am guilty. It's my fault that Matt walked out on Kyler. Simple as that. Have you ever been to the little hut that's in the middle of the bog? No. Don't tell me you've been traipsing through the bog. Are you nuts? That stuff's like quicksand. Did Matt ever try to cross the bog? The only thing Denal ever said that made sense to Matt was, stay away from the bog. And he did. And you'd be well advised to do the same. I'd better get going. See ya. See ya. You have a lead? Mostly I have a question. Do you know anything about this sketch? I found it outside. It looks like a drawing for some kind of housing development, for the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did you ask him to? No, and I seriously doubt Matt did either. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is, why? Anyway. <laughs> I thought of something else you can do for me. Since there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understands, I think it only prudent to do what I can to counteract them. To that end, I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. According to Irish lore, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. If you could pick them for me and put them in that vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. This, of course, means that in spite of whatever it was I saw in the nursery, I still believe there will indeed be a wedding. Because no matter who or what took Matt, you're going to find him, Nancy. I have to believe that. Please don't let me down. I'll catch you later. As soon as you find out anything, let me know.
That sheep doll needs stuffing. To stuff that sheep doll, I'm going to need more wool. <laughs> 